Now, what is a cook-along without our special guest in the kitchen? And today we have brought in a rising star on the local entertainment scene. She started performing at the tender age of four and after graduating in performing arts in 2013, she honed her craft in theatre. But today she's best known to SABC audiences as the troubled teen in Isidingo, Anya Latakhan. I know that you and Zandra will never be together on the same way. I've seen a lot of respect for you. But if you have it in your heart, you can't find it. It's not in your heart. It's not in your heart. It's not in your heart. You've got all the hands on your hand. You know, you don't have to worry about a random woman. But with your sister. Je hebt al met Wendy geslapen. Maar, ik is zeker dat ze blij is om te horen dat ik jou niet had. Nie. Dank je. Ik heb teleurgesteld in jou. Oh, je was mijn held. Ik zal een manier vinden om het nu nog weer recht te maken. Ik beloof jou. Nee. Nee, ik ga niet. Maar net wat baan mag altijd. Het is iets waarvan ik. Het is dat ik nog altijd wel gehad heb. Ah, oh, schandaal aan is het dingo. Lieve Saki, welcome to Afternoon Express. Thank you so much for having me. And I've noticed your hair is long in that scene yeah. now. So how far in advance do you shoot for um, Isidingo? I guess about two, two and a half months. Um, yeah, let's work on a two-month basis and we're safe. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So what's happening? Is there, is there anything interesting happening that you can tell us? Let's just say the events are currently screening right now is leading to Anya's rebel, the rebel inside of her, to kind of come forward yeah. and freak out a little bit. So that's all I'm going to say Well, I can now. imagine. At the moment, she's got reason to freak out because yes. her father's having an affair with her auntie. Yes. Wow, scandalous. I know. But in real life, you're actually very close to your father. You've got like yes. you've got a very, very close relationship. Yes, yeah, so with my family in general, we're very, very close. And that's the only thing I think I've got s similar with Anya, yeah. um, is that they were very close in that family. And um, no, my family has been supporting me like forever and ever. Incredible. So. I couldn't ask for better parents. Oh, that's your family. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. No, they're so cute. <laughs> so when did the acting bug bite? I mean, I know you said from four years old, but were you doing like nappy commercials or what? No, no, no. no. <laughs> my, actually, because of my parents in church, we are a very musical family, yeah. and they used to have like these little, this little plays in church, and then my sister and myself will be in the plays, and Amazing. it just put me like the whole thing in my bite, and then since then I've been loving doing plays before in school and it's just been an ongoing thing ever since. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I know that you've done extensive theatre work. Yeah. But is this a dingo, your first major role on television in South Africa? Yes, I had a small role in Durio Futa a couple of years ago. Yeah. But I would say Esa Dingo is my first professional work sort of job. Amazing. I want to hear how your audition went oh because I gosh. heard that it was between you and like three other girls and you did not think that it was going to get, no. you know, that you were going to get chosen. Yeah, I, I mean, we are our worst critics. So um, I walked into the audition room and these were those beautiful other girls and I started like measuring myself up to them and I thought to myself, there's no way that I'm going to get this role. And I went into the audition room, it went really well. And the casting director seemed happy about it and I walked out feeling confident. But in the back of my mind, I was like, I don't look like these girls. I don't look like these girls. And two weeks later, I got the phone call and luckily, um, I found out that they casted Hendrik and Lelage, who's my mom and my dad, first. Ah. And luckily for me, I looked a little bit like my mom and my dad. <laughs> Yeah. You actually do look a lot like your yeah. TV mom. Thank goodness like I do. A lot like your TV mom. I yeah. can't say you look at all like your TV dad. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but nobody wants to look like their dads, right? No. So, um, I mean, this has been such a dream role and you yeah. definitely tackle it so, so well. Oh, thank you. But I believe that you spend 12 hours a day on set. Yes, well, we are supposed to be on standby and call for 12 hours. So we start at quarter past six in the morning and then we finish around five, six o'clock in the afternoon. Amazing. Um, but when, normally when we are done shooting our scenes for the day, we can leave the actors. But the crew, unfortunately, and the production team, they put in like almost 12 hours every day. And how long does it take you to learn your script? In the, in the beginning, it took me some 
quite a while. I actually had to sit down and go yeah. through the scenes. But because I grew with the character by now, um, I know where Headspace is and I know what direction the dialogue is going, more or less. So now I'll just read it the night before I shoot and then on my way to work, I'll just go through it again and then we'll run it once or twice with my colleagues and then by the time we get on set, I know the words. So do you have a brain that just memorises words? No, I lot, don't actually. sometimes you guys have, like, paragraphs to learn. Yes, oh, we, are. We, we normally call them the, the worst scenes ever. So, no, um, I think you get used to it. You get used to the... I think the fact that you know where your character's mind space and you yeah. actually listen to your co your colleague or whatever, um, you know which way they... So it, it comes naturally yeah. after a while. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And you are so, so sweet. And, Thank I mean, you. you obviously play a schoolgirl, school but what yeah. a lot of people don't know is actually you're actually married. I have. How sweet. Yeah. Where did you meet your husband and how did he propose? Oh, my gosh. Uh, we met, like... Actually, we met three years prior before dating. Ah, oh, there he is. He's so cute. Yes. Um, no, we met three years because he's three years younger than me. Yeah. So we met cool. earlier... <laughs> Of course. Town on Afternoon Express today. <laughs> so, um, no, we met uh, through mutual friends, and then at first, you know, it was like, ha, oh, he's Oluk, you know. And then three years later, we just connected. And um, we went to Dolstrom, we got started dating, we went to Dolstrom, and then through the Whisper Challenge. I don't know if you ever played the Whisper Challenge. No, but it sounds like something it's I want to know. It's so much fun. So okay, so have, what is the Whisper Challenge? So you have my, like, earphones. Like, okay. Okay, and um, I'll put earphones in your ear with loud music and I'll whisper a phrase. And okay. then you have to guess what I whisper. So what And that's how say? he proposed. So I had the music in my ears and he whispered, Salia met my throw. I mean, if somebody had and to then, say to me, Salia met my throw, I will never in a million, <laughs> million years guess what I they say. I didn't get it at first. Okay, yeah. okay, we're gonna play this game quickly, cover you and I'll say something to you. Okay. But are you gonna whisper it or must I say it loud? You have to whisper it and I have okay. to try and read your lips. Okay. Okay. Something of an elephant. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, if you say elephant shoe, it looks like you're saying, I love you. <laughs> So I was going to confuse you. Oh, my gosh, Ruth, did you say I love you? <laughs> well, elephant shoe, but I mean, yeah, it means I love you. Okay. <laughs> so now I want to know, yeah. um, you know, married life. Yes. Are you a good cook? Because, you, you know, I assume you cook meals for your husband I sometimes. Do. <laughs> I do. I, I get out of ideas. I run out of ideas so quickly. OK. And then, no, but baking is more my thing. Oh, really? So how would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Of being cooking? a cook? Yeah. 5. OK. Four, well, that's five. fine. I, I'm, a, a, I'm a 0. 0.5. So <laughs> we, okay. we're going to put you to the test right <laughs> Sure. Now. We'll be back in the kitchen after this.